What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another edition of Apple Talk Daily. Let's start off with some jailbreak news and Pod2G has announced in a tweet he is asking for your vote whether to release the untethered 5.1 jailbreak now or to hold off till iOS 6 which shouldn't be long from now. now Pod2G did release in a tweet that it is going to take a month or possibly two months to come up with a stable uh, 5.1 untethered jailbreak. Apple will probably announce iOS 6 in June at WWDC which is about six weeks away. So Pod2G is leaving it up to us and asking us what we want if we want the 5.1 untethered jailbreak is going to continue to work on that or if we want to see the iOS 6 jailbreak is going to go ahead and quit working on the 5.1 untethered jailbreak. There has been around 35,000 votes already on Pod2G's website and blog and it is looking like everybody is leaning more towards they want the release of the 5.1 untethered jailbreak. So leave down in the comments guys what you guys think. Would you guys want him to continue on the 5.1 untethered jailbreak or would you like to see him hold off and start uh, thinking on the plans and getting things ready for uh, iOS 6. Apple has changed their kids table that they have at every Apple store where they usually put iMacs at for the kids to uh, sit down and enjoy while their parents are shopping but uh, they have actually replaced those with iPads. We can see that uh, iOS is going to be the future of Apple. Now over the years Apple has updated the iMacs there at the kids table at the Apple stores and constantly upgraded them so the experience was uh, up to par every year but this is the first time that they have actually removed the iMac completely from the table itself and are now introducing the iPad. Next is a story about Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs had an idea for an ad supporting operating system that almost became reality. Now back in 2009 Apple created a patent application that surfaced showing that they wanted to um, create a OS that involved a ad operating system. So the ads are going to run the whole time you're on the internet and the whole time you're running the OS itself but it would be free. Now Steve Jobs was also going to have the option of allowing you to uh, upgrade from the ad operating system at the time that you did have the money and come up with the money and you would be able to get the uh, ad free operating system at any time. So he was planning on releasing two operating systems back in 2009. So one of the envisions that Steve Jobs had was to uh, support a version of Mac OS 9 displaying a 60 second commercial from a premium company at the startup and actually swapping out those ads for uh, different ads as they come um, new and more relevant and also he actually wanted to create a contextually relevant ad search as well where let's say your ink printer was out well on your computer and your Mac it would show up saying a uh, ink ad and any kind of deals on ink. Steve actually met with a couple people and uh, started the getting the ball rolling on getting these ads going but uh, for some reason they just completely uh, abolished the idea. On to another story about Steve Jobs that came up was that he was planning on doing a Willy Wonka style celebration for the one millionth sale of the iMac. And Steve Jobs wanted to put a golden ticket inside of the millionth iMac that was made and whoever opened up that iMac would be refunded the purchase price of the computer and flown to Cupertino where he or she and presumably their family would be able to take a tour of the Apple campus. Now the really funny thing about this is that Steve was really passionate about this and he was really serious about this. He actually got a uh, prototype golden certificate made up and also he uh, had exposed to a couple of his co-workers that he wanted to actually do the full uh, Willy Wonka get up and have the uh, top hat and the suit and everything, the cane and the whole nine yards. So that would have been uh, pretty, pretty amazing to see Steve do that. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Apple Talk Daily. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the news and enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, please hit that subscribe button above. It does help me out a bunch. And uh, I will catch you guys around the channel.